Julian Assange has fame, notoriety and some very powerful enemies. He's now been holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for more than a year. The WikiLeaks founder is trying to avoid extradition to Sweden, where he's wanted for questioning over allegations of rape. He believes it's a ploy to have him sent to the US for trial over the publication of hundreds of thousands of top secret documents. This past week, American soldier Bradley Manning, who leaked the military and diplomatic files to WikiLeaks, was found guilty of espionage and faces up to 136 years jail. Now, Julian Assange fears he's next in line. You have no right to arrest Julian Assange. Julian Assange is the world's most famous asylum seeker. Julian Assange has staked everything on taking refuge inside the Ecuadorian embassy. Tell me who you are and what you're filming today, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're from Australian 60 Minutes, so we're right. here to interview Julian. OK, you're going inside. Yes, Thank you very much. The WikiLeaks founder fled here to the Ecuadorian embassy in London just over a year ago, after a British court agreed to his extradition to Sweden. Now, under heavy guard, his world has shrunk to just a few small rooms. Do you feel you're imprisoned? You know, I'm, I'm a bit institutionalised. Uh, there are police who have sight of every window uh, in the embassy. That is extraordinary. In including in the interior firewalls, they hide behind the toilet window. I mean, it, it's a bit absurd. This does seem a little over the top. For one not so bronzed Aussie on the inside, outside there is an extraordinary police presence 24 hours a day, ready to pounce should Julian Assange try to escape. This operation has so far cost more than six million dollars. There are police at the front door, inside at the entrance of the embassy even more police. There is a communications van just across the road. And around the corner here, there are more. There is even a police officer stationed inside that glass stairwell. Have you never contemplated how to escape? Contemplate every, you know, the mind looks for every option. If I backed a van up here tonight and said, Julian, jump in, I reckon we can get you out. That might be interesting. We, we, had a, we were going to do something in, in Christmas decided better not to for a variety of reasons, but um, of bringing in 12 Santas and then taking 13 out. <laughs> he can laugh about it, but if Assange leaves this building, he'll be arrested and put on a plane to Sweden, where he fears the authorities there will hand him over to the US government. Sweden issued a warrant for the arrest of Julian Assange. On suspicion of molestation and rape. Assange's life took a serious twist when the Swedish press announced police wanted to question him over the rape of two young women. I can't tell you what it's like to wake up one day and see millions of websites uh, saying that you are a rapist. Millions. How do you react to that? It was the worst experience uh, I think the, the worst experience I've ever had in my life was to see that. To, to wake up one morning and to see the Swedish tabloids uh, reporting that there was a manhunt, a manhunt for a double violent rapist. A manhunt. The case against Assange began when the women with whom he'd had sex went to police seeking to have him tested for sexually transmitted diseases. Assange has never been charged with any offence. Are you any clearer about why the women you met in Sweden have made their allegations? Well, they haven't made their allegations. That's incorrect. Or made claims? That, yeah. I mean, this is a case that is taken by the Swedish state. It, it's in the greed facts in the, high, uh, in the Supreme Court, in the High Court, the unan unanimity on it that they asked for advice about STDs and the police then took that. Do you think this is purely and simply politics at play? Uh, not, not two women who feel that there's been an injustice? 
or it, the case has been politicised. They say that they are never intending to file charges. There are no charges. Disclosures like these tear at the fabric of responsible government. We're looking at all of the things that we can do to stem the flow of this information. Whatever happened between Assange and the women, the allegations against him were a gift to the US government. The guy who runs the website is a sleazeball named Julian Assange. Which was angered by WikiLeaks' disclosure of its secret files. That sounds like good news to me. Robert Gates, the US Secretary for Defence, when I was arrested and imprisoned, uncharged over that Swedish case here, said to the press, sounds like good news to me. Big smile. You have no doubt that if you my lawyer, step outside... My, lawyer, my lawyers have no doubt. The view of my US lawyers is that there is already a sealed indictment and we must behave like that assumption is correct. For a man who spent his life constantly on the move, being confined to one place has not been easy. Born in Townsville, he attended more than 30 schools, his nomadic existence unavoidable as his mother toured her small theatre company to keep the family afloat. You always knew you were different. Well, I, I was always the new boy, you know, because we were involved in a travelling theatre. At 13, he got his hands on his first computer, a Commodore 64. This was the place where really your world opened up. It w well, it was exhilarating. By the time he was 17, Assange had become a computer hacker. As later portrayed in the movie Underground, he broke into some of the world's most secure government and military systems. You know, I wouldn't, wouldn't say it's, it's breaking in. It's a bit like people who explore the, uh, the drainage system that exists under Sydney and Melbourne. You don't break anything. It's uh, a matter of... Um, being clever. The fact of the matter is that you pleaded guilty to, I think, 24 charges of hacking. Yeah, I, I, am, I, I am not unproud uh, of what I did then. But having engaged in all that exploration, well, I, actually, I, cut, I started to see the structure uh, of these organisations and the behaviour of uh, these military organisations and what I saw I didn't like. And that's when you started to become an activist, I guess. It, it set the seeds. Those first seeds grew into WikiLeaks, an organisation that would soon shake the foundations of governments around the world. Five to six individuals with AK-47s request permission to engage. It captured international attention when it released classified video of a US helicopter attack on a group of civilians and journalists in Iraq. Come on, fire! If you get this material, give it to us, no questions asked, and you'll help change history. More was to follow. Iraq was a bloodbath on every corner. 75,000 US military logs from the war in Afghanistan and 250,000 diplomatic cables, many containing highly embarrassing descriptions of America's allies and world leaders. The prime suspect is 22-year-old Bradley Manning. Much of the information was leaked by US soldier Bradley Manning, who was convicted this week of espionage and now faces life in prison. Bradley Manning is a hero. We should just say it very, very clearly. He's a hero. Do you have sleepless nights about Bradley Manning? I'm not the type to toss and turn worrying about something. Uh, if I'm not sleeping, it's because I'm plotting how to deal uh, with the situation. But the vehicle that you provided for him is sure, they, has they, put him where he is today. They wouldn't be treating Bradley Manning in the way that they are now if it was not for the fact of our publications. Absolutely true. As a human being, does that cause you any level of distress? It's just we see him as someone who um, 
we have a shared uh, destiny with. Uh, as someone who's alleged to be uh, one of our sources, we have some kind of duty of care uh, for him, absolutely. Senior advisor uh, for the uh, Central Intelligence Agency. Solutions. Assange is now assisting a, new uh, whistleblower Edward Snowden, an American intelligence analyst now on the run after revealing a top secret worldwide surveillance program. I could be, you know, rendered by the CIA. I, I could have uh, people come after me. And that's, that's a, a fear I'll live under for the rest of my life, however long that happens to be. Assange has a very personal interest in the fate of both Manning and Snowden. The dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor. He fears that whatever happens to them... He should be treated as an enemy combatant. ...will happen to him too. Shut it down! Shut it down! ...and to others who receive and publish sensitive material. Well, I think Assange should be assassinated, actually. Illegally shoot the son of a And that neo McCarthyist absolute hysteria calling for my assassination, calling for the kidnapping of our staff, putting bills into Congress to declare all our staff enemy combatants that could be assassinated at will. I, I saw, I, I viewed that as redneck rather wasn't. than real. Well, it wasn't just the rednecks, that's the problem. If, if you know these people, when they consider something as that serious, then all options are on the table. The Australian Federal Police is going to provide the government with some advice about uh, uh, potential criminal conduct of the individual involved. The former Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, has not been a supporter of you at all. Uh, do you know... I think that's, yeah, <laughs> that's putting it mildly. What do you know of Kevin Rudd's view of you? I, I don't expect much from Kevin Rudd. It, uh, you couldn't be worse than Gillard, uh, as far as WikiLeaks is concerned. Um, well, what it's would hard, you it's hard to imagine that there being a worse Prime Minister. So if Tony Abbott was the Prime Minister, that wouldn't be good either for you? It wouldn't be good for anyone, I think. Uh, and so it's quite interesting in terms of uh, Rudd's um, neo-Pacific solution. Now Julian Assange wants to take on the politicians at their own game, standing for the Senate at the coming election. Rudd, by just dumping people in Papua New Guinea, uh, yeah. is putting them in a state that all the West Papuan refugees are. The Australian people will get what if they vote for you? No more bullshit. I mean, when you turn a bright light on, the cockroaches scuttle away. Uh, and that's what we need to do to Canberra. What else did you think? Assange has launched the WikiLeaks party, running on a platform of truth and transparency. Why do you think that you're going to be able to do what you would say so many others have failed to do? Well, look, I'm, I'm a human being too. I don't want to say that um, there are difficulties for everyone. Uh, but, you know, my, my best attribute and my worst attribute is I'm extremely stubborn. And um, that has enabled uh, WikiLeaks, the organisation, to go head to head with the Pentagon, with the CIA, with the Department of Justice, with the White House, and we face them down successfully. Assange says he's been planning a political career for the past two years, although admits he hasn't always been engaged in Australian politics. Did you vote in the last election? The last Australian election? Yes. I don't think so. Shame on you. You want to be a, a, a part of the political terrain of, of yeah, Australia I, and you didn't vote? I know, but, you know... Uh, I had a few things going on. There is a, an obvious impediment in terms of electing you. Uh, this, you are here in the Ecuadorian embassy. How are you going to serve the people if you are elected? There is a mechanism. July next year is when I would take up the seat. Um, then there's a two month grace period. After the two month grace period, the Senate can elect to extend that. If they do not, um, then we can uh, place um, one of our other people there, one of the other WikiLeaks uh, candidates, uh, to take the seat until such time as I'm able to return. And when that will be is the big question. The conviction of Bradley Manning this week has meant it's more likely than ever that Assange, indeed all publishers and journalists, could be prosecuted for exposing government secrets which means Julian Assange is unlikely to be walking out of this embassy 
anytime soon. So you haven't gone balmy? There haven't been days when you thought, oh, I just can't do this anymore? There, there are moments. Uh, I think there's been about four moments, uh, you know, where you think this, this situation, oh my God, this is, this is absurd. Uh, how, how is this, how is this going, going on? And, you know, I, I miss fishing and my family and my children. But um, it passes. How long can you do it for? But I think, I think if, if you're diligent, you can do these things forever. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.